Everybody likes Final Fantasy, right? Or at least most people do. And what's not to like? Awesome characters, in-depth stories, fun battle systems, giant swords, and whatever this is. This franchise is beloved by so many, so it makes sense that Square would create Final Fantasy Dissidia, a fighting game series that takes iconic Final Fantasy characters and has them duke it out with each other. It was a great idea, and fans ate it up, including myself. But, and it's a big but, what if I told you Final Fantasy Dissidia, at least in the form it's taken now, was never supposed to exist? That actually, instead of Final Fantasy Dissidia, it was supposed to be Kingdom Hearts. Dissidia. Yup, that's right. Long before Sora was even a thought to get into Super Smash Bros, he and many other characters would have had their own fighting game, so what stopped it from happening? In one word, violence. I don't believe in violence. I know, I know, I know. Violence in a fighting game? Say it ain't so! Apparently, the straw that broke the camel's back was the fact that they didn't want Disney characters fighting each other. However, was that Disney's fault, or Square Enix's who killed the idea? To get more info on this, we need to go to an interview with the Kingdom Hearts director, Tetsuya Nomura. An interview was published for Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days, and Nomura was obviously answering questions about the production and where the idea for the game came from. And it provides some neat little insight into what the original idea for Dissidia was. Nomura was asked, where did the idea to use the organization members for the multiplayer come from? Nomura replied, Applied, we made a game where characters from various Final Fantasy games got together to battle, Dissidia, but that was a project we were originally thinking of using for Kingdom Hearts. However, deciding it would be a bad idea to make Disney characters fight each other, it never materialized for Kingdom Hearts and ended up shifting to Final Fantasy. So instead, they thought about using Organization 13 for a multiplayer game and thus 358 over 2 days was born. Now everyone seems to jump onto the conclusion that Disney said no to this idea and that's the reason it never got off the ground. However, nowhere in that interview do you read Nomura say he sat down with the big wigs at Disney and they told him no. From how it reads, it seems like he and Square Enix came to the decision that they didn't want the Disney characters fighting each other. Now before you jump down into the comments and start typing it was Disney's fault and just because Disney in name was not mentioned in this statement by Nomura doesn't mean that they weren't already involved and had the final say on if it went into production or not. If that is what you're thinking, I actually do agree with you. I personally think it was Disney's decision, especially because they are so overprotective of their characters. And you need to remember, this is the same company who kept extending the time for when Mickey Mouse would fall into the public domain, and also didn't let Elsa join your party to help you fight in Kingdom Hearts 3. I could easily see that being true of them getting the final say. That being said, there is something I do not want to overlook, and it could actually support Disney being the ones who axed the project, even if Disney wasn't mentioned by Nomura in name during the interview. We have already seen concerning Sora that Masahiro Sakurai, the director of the Super Smash Bros. series, hid the fact that Sora had won the Super Smash Bros. fighter ballot for becoming a playable character in Smash. This was because Sakurai spoke with Mr. Iwata at the time and they decided to not say anything because fans might have demanded the character get in from the respective game companies and it would have been an inconvenience for the parties involved. I think Sakurai is being modest when putting it that way. I think it would have been an absolute show if people knew Sora had won, but they couldn't put him in at the time. So, to make things easier for Disney and not being pressured by the public, they stayed silent on the matter. It could be the same case here as well. Maybe Nomura is not mentioning Disney on purpose because they don't want the fans of the franchise getting angry and bombarding Disney with angry messages. However, the flip side to this is also the fact that Sora getting into Smash was actually fine with Disney when it was presented to them. The person who was actually not on board with the idea was Nomura. The reason being that he wasn't sure how this would affect the lore in Kingdom Hearts. So I have to say this, I know Nomura is not watching this, but Nomura, you do realize that not every game Sora is in has to be canon, right? You can have games that exist outside the canon and are just fun side games that have no bearing on the story. I tell you this because no other creator who has their character appear in Smash Bros has ever thought about how it affects their lore, because to put it bluntly, it's stupid. It's 
It's not like Persona is going to have to come up with a logical reason Joker met Mario in the next Persona game, or Cloud now has to mention in Final Fantasy VII Part II when he encounters Sephiroth, hey Sephiroth, wasn't it cool when we dunked on that hillbilly bear and the turkey it was carrying in its backpack? Regardless if it was Disney's final word, or Nomura and his teams, the fact remains it wasn't a good reason. That just doesn't add up. Of all the reasons to not make the game, it wasn't financial, it wasn't licensing, but violence? And it was going to be fantasy comic violence at the worst anyway. I mean, come on! Kingdom Hearts itself has violence in it, but everyone seemed to be okay with making that game. And if you wanted to make the argument that they didn't want to see the original Disney characters fighting each other, well, that's crap. And besides, historically, Disney cartoons tend to disagree with that sentiment as well. Disney has had characters be violent towards each other or themselves many times. Don't believe me? Then how about this? Or this? Or this? This, or this. You see kids, Disney can be violent. So I don't see what the big deal is, besides, it wouldn't be like playing Mortal Kombat. Donald wouldn't pull out Mickey's spleen and make him eat it. It would probably just be on the same level as Kingdom Hearts, which isn't even that bad. You would have some sword swings with no blood, Goofy bonking you on the head with his shield, and Donald using magic. None of these things would be enough to make the casual audience look at these characters and go, how out of character, they would never fight like that. Look at Smash Bros and Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl. Those characters wouldn't fight each other in Canon. The nice characters, I mean, wouldn't try to beat the crap out of each other, and the violence in those games is cartoon-level violence. I mean, for God's sake, Aang is a pacifist. Do you see anyone ranting about how Aang shouldn't be in Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl? Even if you take Dissidia's level of violence, it's still not gruesome or horrific violence. It's your by-the-numbers, over-the-top fantasy violence. I also find this to be hypocritical. They don't want any violence to come to their characters, but there is literally a mission in Birth by Sleep where Terra is tricked by Captain Hook and has to battle Peter Pan in a fight. I mean, the text even says, put Peter Pan in his place, and then you begin to wail on him. So, remind me why we can't have a Dissidia Kingdom Hearts game? I can't quite hear you over me bashing Peter's skull in. Hell, even when the fight's over, Peter has a better attitude about it than Nomura or Disney. I've been guarding a pile of loot? Sounds like you've been tricked. I'll say. I owe you an apology. I picked a fight over nothing. Oh, it was all in good fun. Not every day I get to fight such a good swordsman. The only other reason I can come up with as well is the fact that Nomura would have made this game canon to the cage timeline and lore because God knows he has to do that with every single game. So I guess maybe from a creative standpoint, he couldn't come up with a valid reason for Donald Duck to want to beat the crap out of Goofy. I could think of a few though. And maybe, even if Nomura thought of a reason for them to fight each other, therein lies the problem. Maybe because he wants everything linking back to the canon material, just doing a fun spin-off that has nothing to do with the main series games, he just didn't like and would be opposed to it. We've already seen that with Smash Bros. That being said, if they didn't want to budge on having Disney proper characters fight each other, then, you know, hmm, I'm not sure what we could do, what a conundrum. How about using the other million Kingdom Hearts original characters to fight instead? I mean, you have Sora, Riku, Kairi, Ansem, Axel, Roxas, Shion, Grumpy, Gambly, Bitchy. I mean, come on, there's so many characters you could have easily created a roster with and left out the Disney characters to fight. And yes, I know Disney has the rights to the Kingdom Hearts characters as well, but Disney never does anything with them anyway. I'm serious, they rarely, and emphasis on rarely ever bring out those characters for promotional reasons. We're talking shiny farming in Pokemon Emerald rarely. There are a few instances where we've seen Kingdom Hearts Goofy and Donald costumes, but it's a genuine miracle if you ever end up seeing them on a Disney cruise or at a theme park, at least in North America. For characters that never really get any spotlight outside of the main franchise, it would have been nice to have a multiplayer Kingdom Hearts fighting game spinoff. You could have implemented so many fun ideas regarding the battle system in different arenas based on all the Disney worlds, but alas, we'll never get to see a game like that. With Kingdom Hearts 4 on the way, and some more phone game stuff, Square seems to be busy with the future of Kingdom Hearts. Maybe something like this could pop up again down the line. Maybe Sora being in Smash Bros opened up the possibility of this game ever coming back into production in one form or another, but we'll have to wait and see. As for now, I guess there's always Mugen if we want to see Kingdom Hearts characters fight each other. Now, I'm off to go beat Kingdom Hearts for the one millionth time. I'll see you around, and thanks for hanging out. See you later, gamers. Nath out.